Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff in the news with uh, Dick Cheney and his daughter Liz Cheney, and I think, um, you know, they're not the biggest supporters of um, Donald Trump. I think they are people that can't stand Donald Trump, and um, uh, I looked on Twitter, and it says that uh, Dick Cheney endorsed Kamala Harris, you know, over Trump. Like he supports Kamala. He wants Kamala to win. You know, they really don't like Donald Trump, him and his daughter. And the crazy thing about it is you have some people in the media acting like that is some great thing. I remember uh, a lot of people in the media were sitting up and saying, oh, well, you know, Dick Cheney's a war criminal and Dick Cheney's horrible and he should be thrown in prison. I remember people saying that you know, what, around, you know, a decade ago, I remember how Dick Cheney was the worst person in the world. And isn't it funny that the Democrats can turn around and act like, you know, this is something to be proud of. Oh, well, a Republican supports uh, Kamala Harris. And, you know, this shows that Donald Trump isn't loved by Republicans and all this other stuff. And, uh, you know, they're, they're two people, him and his daughter, they have um, what everybody likes to say, call it Trump derangement syndrome where they, you know, anything that Trump is doing, they have to be against. You know, they hate uh, Trump with a passion. You can tell because, you know, Trump could come on there saying something about anything. It could be the birds in the sky, and they'll always find a reason to have to say something mean or negative. And so him and his daughter, I think his daughter lost her election. She was really mad at Trump. And, uh, you know, Trump called her out on it. And, um, you know, Dick Cheney, he's, 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 he's just, you know, I don't know what to say, but any Democrat that thinks that getting a Dick Cheney endorsement is a good thing is insane. I mean, how can the Democrats say, call him war hero and he should be in prison and all these things. And now it's just like, oh, well, we're happy to get Dick Cheney's endorsement. I mean, if I were Kamala Harris, I would be acting like this never even happened. I mean, who wants uh, to be endorsed by Dick Cheney and supported by people like, uh, what's his daughter's name, Liz Cheney? I mean, Liz Cheney, uh, her only claim to fame is being Dick Cheney's daughter. And I mean, that's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, even if you look at the war that, uh, you know, Dick Cheney helped promote with the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and stuff like that. I mean, look at how much money. George Bush and Dick Cheney wasted on that war. They wasted all that money. And to be honest with you, they really didn't accomplish anything. You know, America uh, is in debt. Uh, if you look at a lot of those soldiers, a lot of those soldiers, I mean, I give the soldiers credit because the soldiers, you know, they really believed some of these men, some of the soldiers, and they, you know, put their lives on the line, just like any good soldier would. And uh, Dick Cheney and George Bush, I mean, really didn't help the soldiers out. I mean, you look at uh, some of these soldiers right now. I mean, I see some of the commercials and those soldiers from that period of time, they should be living like kings. Dick Cheney and George W. Bush used a lot of those men and women and moved on with their lives and live in big mansions and made a lot of money and you see George, George uh, Bush, he's George W. Bush. You see him go out there and he's speaking in Texas and talking about politics and hugging Michelle Obama. And George Bush and Dick Cheney, they didn't treat those soldiers right. I mean, they treated those soldiers worse than garbage. I mean, they sat up and they told a bunch of lies to get us into a war. And then when those soldiers were injured and you know, they had problems with walking and things like that. Dick Cheney and uh, George W. Bush were nowhere to be found. And I mean, still to this day, you have soldiers that are complaining about health care and some of these soldiers are homeless and it's just a mess. And so I don't see how the Democrats or even Kamala Harris can look at a Dick Cheney endorsement as a good thing. Like seeing that uh, Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney support Kamala Harris, that should make more people say, wait a minute. If Kamala, if uh, Liz Cheney and Dick Cheney support Kamala Harris, then I need to support Trump. Like this should be almost like a wake up call for people to say, well, you know what? I want to be opposite of what they they believe in. I need to support Donald Trump. I know at least I'm supporting Donald Trump because to have this much.
hatred in your heart, especially being a Republican, to say, oh, well, I'm going to support Kamala Harris. That just goes to show you how low down this uh, the family is. I mean, the, the son and the daughter. I mean, not the son, the daughter, the father and the daughter. I mean, you're going to sit up and endorse Kamala. And guess what? I'm not complaining. But this should be a wake up call to anybody looking at this election and say, wait a minute, I don't want to be on that side of history. And so if Kamala Harris supports uh, this endorsement, I think she did. But, you know, if Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney, they support you, then I don't need to be on that side. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to vote for Trump. But to me, that should let a lot of people know that uh, the Democrats aren't worth supporting. I mean, I've never thought that the Democrats would sit up and they're so desperate for some sort of validation and some sort of support from a Republican to the point where they sit up and be happy about a, a war criminal, someone they call the war criminal, endorsing Kamala Harris, a, a Democrat. So a, a war criminal Republican endorsing a Democrat to win the president of the United States. That's, uh, like I always say, if you live long enough, you'll see and hear any and everything. And uh, this is one of those occasions. So in the comment section, let me know how you feel and um, let me know your thoughts on, uh, you know, how all of a sudden the Democrats like Dick Cheney all of a sudden, like that they love him endorsing uh, someone like Kamala Harris. Just let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Thank you.